So now we're going to solve problems involving exponential growth. So number one is the population of Barangay Siksikan is increasing at a rate proportional to its current population in the year population. In the year 2000, the population was 1000. And 2004, in 2004, it became 5000. So from after four years, it became 5000. What was its population in 2009? And approximately what year will its population be 100,000? So, kailan siya magiging 100,000? So, first is we're going to list the given. And we're going to list the given. The second is we're going to list the given by um, by question. So, the first one, the given is in the year 2000. If the year 2000, the population is 1,000. So, the equation that we're going to use for e exponential growth is y is equal to y sub 0 e to the k t. k is uh, the, the rate. It's a constant. So it's a constant. t is the time. So k is the time. And it's a constant. t is a time. y sub 0 is the initial. The initial population or initial number. y is the the number after t time. So these are the given again. So anap ang una natin gagawin is y sub zero. So if the our first year, if the initial year is two thousand, ibig sabihin y sub zero is one thousand. Kasi the initial na number, ang pinakaunang number is one thousand. So after four years, so given after four years, so kasi two thousand, so after two thousand four, so after four years from two thousand, ang population y became five thousand. So, y became 5,000. So, in the first question, letter A. So, so, for letter A, it's what is its population? So, ibig sabihin, ang hinahanap is y. So, y is for the population or the number. And in the year 2009. So, how many years it is it after 2000? So, t is equal to 9. So, letter B naman, sa second question, in approximately what year will its population be 100? So, the population is 100,000. So, ibig sabihin, ang given is y. And ang ginahanap natin si t, which is si the, the number of years. So, next. Um, so, ang una natin gagawin, kasi hindi given si k. So, hahanapin natin si k. It's either we're going to look for the value of e to the k or k. So, ang una natin gagawin dito is we're, we're going to have e to the k lang. So, First given, y sub 0, y is equal to, y sub 0 is 1,000. So, 1,000 e to the kt. So, based on this one, after 4 years though, when t is equal to 4, y is equal to 5,000. So, see si y, gawin natin, 5,000 is equal to 1,000 e to the k times t, which is 4. Next is, we're going to look for k. So, ang gagawin natin dyan is divide both sides muna by 1,000. So, 1,000 is simplify muna natin. So, 5 is equal to cancel ang 1,000 e to the k 4. So, paano natin kukunin si 4? Just like x, paano, x squared is equals to 6. Paano kukunin natin si squared? This is square root para makancel. So, ang gagawin rin natin dito is fourth root of, fourth root of, e to the k4. Para makancel si 4, matira na lang si e to the e to the k is equal to fourth root of 5. So this is the first process that we're going to do. Hanapin natin si e to the k. So, ibig sabihin the equation is y, diba? The equation from this one, we're going to change it to y is equal to 1000 e to the k is 4th root of 5 raised to the power of t. So, we're going to use the, this formula in order to solve for a and b. So, y is equal to 1000 4th root of 5 raised to the power of t. So, we're looking for y, 1000, so 4th root of 5 raised to the power of 9. So, actually, if this is like this, so, ang mangyari nyan is 1000 so, if you say in 5, it's 9 over 4. So, 9 over 4. So, to solve that using calculator, 
Pwede mo yung unahin yung 9 to the 4, 5, 5 raised to the power of 9 over 4 times 1,000. The population after 9 years is 37,383.72, which is approximately equal to 37,000. 384. So, after 9 years, ang population is magiging 37,384. So, the next is um, y is equal to 1,000 4 to the 5 raised to the power of t. So, hinahanap natin dito is si t. So, ang gagawin natin, substitute 100,000 is equal to 1,000 4th root of 5 t. So, divide both sides by 1,000 so that it would be simpler. So, 4th root of 5 raised to the power of t. So, cancel. 3, 0. So, 100. So, pas na natin ito masasolve. So, if you, if you know this already, so, uh, ito siya equals to t over 4. 1,100. So, ang gagawin mo dyan is... Instead na is, ano mo niya, is square root, gagawin mo raised to the power of 4. So, para makancel to, matira na lang dito is 5 to the t. 5 to the t. So, dito naman, it's 100 raised to the power of 4. So, anong gagawin natin sunod? So, in here, we're going to have, we're going to use logarithm. So, logarithm, so, t is equal to log of 100 raised to the power of 4 to the base 5, which is equal to log of 100 raised to the power of 4 to the log over log of 5. So, that's the answer. T is equal to... Uh, I did not solve this one so that it would be easier. So, log of 100 raised to the power of 4 divided by log 5 which is equal to 11.45 so after ele after 11.45 years the population will become 100,000 so next for number 2 for number 2 certain bacterial cells are being observed in an experiment the population doubles in an hour if the, at the end of the four hours, the population is 36,000. How many bacteria cells were originally present? And after how many hours, approximately, will the number of cells reach 1 million? So, the first thing we need to do is to understand really the problem, and then we're going to get the given. The first given is after, at the end of four hours, y is equal to. 36,000. So, we're going to use still the same formula. So, y is equal to y sub 0 e to the kt. However, in the first, the population doubles in an hour. So, after one hour, the population doubles. The population doubles. So, naging 2y0. So, if the original is y sub 0, so after isang one hour lang, naging dalawa ng y0 because it doubles so it begins in 2y0 so the first question is um how many bacteria were originally present so we're looking for y sub 0 and the second question is after how many hours approximately will the number so ang hinahanap is t because it's after after how many hours given ang population is 1 million so first so, substitute in the formula. So, first is anapin natin is C, C, K, or C, E to the K. So, ang gagawin natin dyan is, we're going to use use this one. So, after one hour, C, C, after one hour, C, Y, naging 2Y sub 0, kasi it doubles. So, originally, E to the K times 1. So, which is equal to, sorry, divide both sides by y sub 0. So, cancel na yan siya. 
So cancel that as well. 2 is equal to e to the k. So e to the k is equal to 2. So that's easy. So next is, given this, we're going to solve now for y sub 0. So after, at the end of 4 hours, because t is equal to 4, Kapag t is equal to 4, y is equal to 36,000. So, because we know already e to the k, so y is y is 36,000. y sub 0, yan ang hinanap natin. e to the k is 2 raised to the power of 4. So, divide both sides by 2 to the 4. 2 to the 4, y sub 0 is equal to 36,000 divided by 2 to the 4 is equal to 2,250. Next, if y is equal to 1 million, so y is 0, e, k, t, so y is 1 million, y sub 0 is 2,250, e to the k is 2 raised to the power of the hinanap city. So first is divide both sides by 2250. 2250. So cancel. 2 to the t is equal to, let's try, 1 million divided by 2250. It's 4000 over 9. So 4,000 over 9. So we're going to use this so that it would be not very far from the original answer. Because it's usually estimated. Kung gawin natin itong decimal, so medyo lalayo siya. So next is, um, just like what we have done in the first example, we're going to use logarithm. So t is equal to lag of this one, 4,000 over 9 divided by lag 2. So, t now is equal to, so 4,000 divided by 9 muna. So, log answer, this one divided by log 2 is equal to 8.796. So, after 8.796 hours, the population would become... 1 million so that's how fast it is so i hope our answer is correct for number three so this one is decay so the rate of decay of radium is said to be proportional to the amount of radium present if the half-life is 1690 years and there are 2200 grams on hand now how much radium will be present in 845 years so the question here is all about um half life so if you mean ang half life is it's um the number of years na itong halimbawa it's, it's 200 grams originally originally na number of years na magiging 100 grams siya is 1690 years so after 1690 years ang 200 because it's half life magiging 100 because it's the half of 200 so that that's the meaning of half life so we're still going to use the same formula y is equal to y sub 0 e to the kt so um the given r t is the half life the number of years so from from the y sub 0 is 200 because the original is 200 so for after t this one after 1690 years so ang y na sub 0 magiging 100 na lang kasi nga it's half life so ang 200 magiging 100 so it's from the equation we're going to solve e to the k first so itong y magiging 100 y sub 0 is 200 e to the k times 1690 so divide both sides by 200 200 so 0 0.5 or 1 half is equal to e to the k times 1690 so how are we going to cancel this one so paano natin kukunin si 1690 it's either you going to divide you're going to multiply this by 1690 or 
or it's either ganito gagawin natin so it times mo yung exponent ng 1 over 1690 tapos dito rin it times mo siya ng 1 over 1690 exponent gawin mo ng exponent 169 1 over 6 1690 1690 so makancel ito so matira na lang is e to the k tapos 0 0.5 raised to the power of 1 over 1 1690 or you could also do this so from this one so 0 0.5 is equal to e to the k times 1690 diba so kunin mo ang 1690 root of this one 1690 root. So, makancel to siya. So, matira na lang is 1690. 0 0.5 is equal to e to the k. So, it's just the same. So, e to the k is this one equal to this one. So, we have now the equation y is equal to y sub 0 is 200. e to the k is 5 or 0 0.5 raised to the power of 1 over 1690 times t. Ibig sabihin yan, y is equal to 200 times 0 0.5 1 times t, t over 1690. So that's the equation. So given the question is, how much radium would be present after 845 years? So we're looking for y if t is 845, what's y? So, y is equal to 200 times 0 0.5. Ang t magiging 845 over 1690. So, just type this in the calculator. So, unahin natin yung exponent na 845 divided by 1690. Oh, it's 1 half. So, 0 0.5 raised to the power of one half or the answer times 200 that's 141.42 y so after 141.42 years the the radium the amount of radium would become or oh, sorry after 845 years the amount of radium would become 141 so from 200 it would become 100 41.42. So that's the answer. That's how we're going to solve problems involving exponential growth using integral anti differentiation.